We've seen it in the movies. Something happens that frightens one of the characters and what we see is a really super slow motion sequence of them observing what happens. But does this happen in real life? Well, strangely enough, the answer is yes. During times of high emotion, like a fearful event, our perception of time slows down, albeit not to the same extent as we see in the movies. Research in Israel has shown that time perception does change in times of heightened emotional states. And it's also shown that the impact varies between different people. Anxious people, they tend to experience a greater time dilation or slowing of time than those who are less anxious. This leads to another question. How does the brain do this? Researcher David Eagleman, well, he wanted to test this. He came up with two possible explanations. Either our senses and cognition speed up, or the time dilation It's the result of an illusion of recollection. To try and work out which one, he designed an experiment. He used a suspended catch air device. Essentially, it's a large crane with a platform. At the bottom, there's a safety net, and people would jump off it and land in that safety net. Tell you this, you wouldn't catch me doing that. The participants, they would jump off the tower, and then they've got a 31-meter freefall before being safely captured in the net. This freefall, it would take roughly about three seconds. And as I said, this is one experiment. You wouldn't catch me anywhere near it. After performing the jump, the participants were asked to estimate the amount of time that it took for them to fall. He found that, on average, the participants estimated the fall as taking 36% longer than it actually did. So more like four to four and a half seconds to fall rather than the three seconds. This demonstrated that time dilation was taking place. He also used a specially designed chronometer to try and measure the participants' time resolution. In this, he placed a wrist-mounted device that showed a series of numbers. The frequency of the numbers increased slightly and was watched by the participants until they could no longer perceive that the numbers were changing. The frequency of the numbers it, they increased slightly and they were watched by the participants until they could no longer perceive that the numbers were changing. This, it was their time resolution. Why this works is the eye can only perceive things as happening in discrete chunks of time. On average, about 8 milliseconds. When two events occur within the same time chunk, to our brains, they appear simultaneously, even though there is a slight time difference. By baselining the time resolution, the device it could be calibrated for the participant's specific timing. The device refresh rate was then slightly increased for the free fall. If the participant was experiencing a faster perception of what was happening during the fall, then they would be again able to see the changes in the numbers because there would be that refresh time would be down, so the numbers would be slower to them. In the experiment, none of the participants experienced the change in numbers. So this demonstrated that the cognition of the events was not changed. The results of this experiment led to the conclusion that of the two possible solutions, the speed up of our senses and cognition or an illusion of recollection, it's the second one that is most likely to be true. So when you see time as being slower during a particularly emotional event, it's not that time has slowed down. It's more likely that the higher emotional state enables you to memorize more of what's happening. And then this later, when you recall what's happened, your brain sees all this additional information and makes you think that time ran slower, even though it didn't. A quick one today. Did you like that pun? Time going slower. Some a slower video. What are your thoughts on this? Have you ever experienced time seeming to slow down? Why not drop a comment down below? Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.